All right, what's up guys? Peter Jaguars here again, and I'm going to be doing a pack opening here. For some reason, they still haven't put up the new Football Outsiders cards banner. They seem to always be slow with that, even though they've confirmed on Twitter that the cards are out. And I saw some of them on the auction block. They haven't put it up yet, but there is the next-gen Alfred Morris. But anyway, let's get into opening these packs. We've got four packs here, two Jumbo Reward packs, a Pro Pack, and my DirecTV pack. So we'll start with the Jumbo Reward pack. And the five Football Outsiders cards this week are Lance Briggs. He's a 94 overall limited edition. 91 overall Elite Andre Smith. 87 Darius Butler. 92 Charles Woodson. And 90 Eric Berry. I'll show you guys some of those guys on the auction block and we get Victor Cruz here nice so yeah once I finish these packs I'll show you guys some of them on the auction block and we get Sidney Rice as well in this pack so a couple gold receivers Cruz should actually have some value and he looks pretty nice so that is a decent pull but we'll throw all of that in reserves and move on to our second jumbo reward pack i'd love to get any of these guys i haven't pulled any football outsiders this year we'll go backwards <laughs> come on see this is what i hate a 68 overall card that's shouldn't be a gold it's just stupid and it's one of the two guys i get now we get Cruz again so i guess that's cool Hopefully he's worth at least like 4 or 5k and I could get something. But like a 68 overall gold, that should be kind of like a bronze. It would be in any previous mutt. So, I mean, it, it is what it is, but whatever. Uh, just a little annoying. We get Mike Smith here going with this pro pack. I pulled Fantasy Earl Thomas in my pro pack last week. This is just the one from Season Ticket. We get Ed Reed, Top 100, Zach Streif, Marcus Sherrills, Jimmy Clausen, Patriots Uni, one of the last two cards, Elite Jimmy Graham. Yes, that's the second time I've pulled him this year. He's actually one of the few Elites who I have pulled. And there is a fantasy Jimmy Graham that's better, but this is still a pretty nice pull. He's got good stats. I don't think I'll be using him on my team but he does have some solid value. I think I sold the last one for around 15k, which is a nice coin boost. So we're throwing him in reserves. Now we have this final direct TV pack and in every single video where I open this, someone asks me, "How do you get the direct TV packs?" So the answer is it's from the anniversary edition of Madden 25 which came with a code to get 17 of these direct TV packs as we get Kendall right, you get one per week for 17 weeks but you get three golds or better in here will smith playbook contract sam young uniform two of these last three <laughs> pac-man jones eh. he's actually not terrible i mean nice speed man coverage combo i definitely wouldn't use him and lamonte david okay so that's actually a decent pull i think he'll be my new Starting right outside linebacker because I don't have anyone that great there. And he is man D. Pretty nice stats there. That 94 tackling should be pretty nice. So I'll throw him up to the active roster and put the rest of this stuff in reserves. And I'll go show you guys some of the football outsiders on the auction block. Here is the first one of these guys I could find. It's the 91 overall right tackle Andre Smith. And he also has an 86 overall elite, which will probably drop in price. But this Andre Smith is actually a nice card. Low awareness, but it means he's got good blocking stats. Really nice run blocker. And pretty nice with pass blocking as well. Just good strength for both of those. So he is from week 5. Uh, they had 8.4 yards per carry to the right side behind him. He is speed run chemistry, and it's a pretty nice card. Let's move on to another one of these guys. Now we have this 92 overall free safety, Charles Woodson, who is man defense chemistry. He had a limited edition card previously that was 90 overall. But here's his football outsider, which is a pretty nice guy. He's just balanced all around. Nice coverage stats for a safety and pretty good speed for him being 
pretty old at this point in his career, but just overall he's well-rounded and not a great tackler, but I think his coverage stats make up for that. So he is pretty nice. Let's see if we can find that Eric Barrier, Darius Butler, even the Briggs. Okay, so here is the limited edition Lance Briggs. He wasn't on the auction block, so I looked on the trade block. Here he is. Mandy and Pass Rush Chemistries. I like the look with the logo in the background and the limited edition on the side. That's pretty cool. Uh, and this card is just a flat-out beast. 94 tackling, which is actually the same as that Levante David. Uh, but 95 play rec and 93 awareness means you do not have to use or him or anything. He will get to the ball. Pretty nice speed and agility and then good pursuit. So he's just a beast. I assume he will be pretty expensive, as are pretty much all of these limited edition football outsiders cards. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I really do feel like this was a successful pack opening. I'm happy with the Jimmy Graham, the Elite Jimmy Graham, and those Victor Cruises and Levante David should be a nice upgrade to my team. Uh, but anyway, guys... Like I said, that's going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more Madden Ultimate Team 25 content. Let me know in the comments section what you think of these football outsiders. Are there any you guys are going to be targeting? Do you, do you pull any of them? Let me know. But anyway, I'm out. Peace.